This is DRX2, the most powerful LED luminaire remote controlled lighting has ever produced. Today, we're going to discuss its quirks and features, get hands on with it, take a look at its specification, and have a think about the projects where it's most useful. Let's get started. So let's take a look at the DRX2 close up. Here we have metal cast bodies for the head of the fitting and for the motor body. This piece is actually a polymer. It's a polymer because this particular fitting is equipped with RCL control, the wireless system that we have now. And we need a polymer case to let the radio waves transmit successfully. The finish is powder coated black. However, the heat sink, which is extruded aluminium, is actually anodized in black. Anodizing is a form of finishing with incredibly thin layers. And you need them thin because you want to radiate the heat. Black is a great color for radiating as much heat as possible, but if you powder coat that heat sink, you're trapping all the heat in. That's why you have a very, very thin anodized layer to radiate that heat more effectively. You have a standard U-Track three circuit adapter, but this could be one of many different track adapters. This particular one also has the data bus pins, which we use for Dali and DMX, or zero to 10. On the bottom of the fitting, you can see the remote controlled lighting sensor and indicator. The indicator gets used uh, with RCL control to help with pairing, but also lets us know if a fitting has been successfully addressed with DMX. So that's a multi-use indicator. The front of the fitting is very interesting. We can see a baffle. Now this is an optional baffle, but I like to put this in because it cuts down glare significantly. I think it looks pretty useful, but it also demonstrates the built-in accessory holder. So inside this injection molded ring, we have three clips. These can be used for thin film lenses, color filters. Behind that is one of the biggest polymer collimators you'll see. It gives us incredibly narrow beams out of this fitting. And there's actually an airflow path from the front of the fitting all the way through to the back. That helps with cooling and you need a lot of cooling because this Cree chipped fitting puts out 4,000 lumens. The standard beam widths are seven degrees, 10 degrees, 17 degrees and 28 degrees. The 10, 17 and 28 are all 4,000 lumens, where the seven degrees is a little bit less. This particular fitting is a 3,000 Kelvin fitting, but of course you could have it in 2,700 Kelvin, 3,000 and 4,000 Kelvin as standard. Other color temperatures are absolutely available, but those three tend to be the ones we keep on the shelf. Like all remote controlled lighting fixtures, I mean scenes can be recorded and recalled either by the handheld remote or by using RCL control, DALI or DMX. The dimming controller of this fixture is all internal. It uses a driver that we have developed in-house and can dim from 100% to zero very smoothly and at 1000 Hz flicker frequency. This means we avoid any stroboscopic effects on phone cameras around dining room tables or in galleries where the public are taking pictures of the wonderful art. Having 4,000 lumens and some quite impressive peak intensities, of course it leans itself to the large atrium spaces you see above, but car showrooms is another great opportunity. You need a lot of light, normally from quite high up, and you need it focused just on the right spot. Thanks for taking a look at the video today. I hope you enjoyed this quick but pretty detailed look at the DRX2, a 4,000 lumen fitting with high CRI three different color temperatures are standard and four beam widths. But until next time, please keep safe and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.